So as you can see, we are here at the Aesthetic and Cosmetic Center by Nine Wells. You can see it's like very cozy, it is beautiful, has state-of-the-art atmosphere, and it has a great ambiance. So, and there's also a lot of services provided here, and we are coming to you with some interesting discussion topics, so we invite you to stay tuned. And we are here at the VIP launch of the Aesthetic and Cosmetic Center by Nine Wells. And today we're going to talk about something very incredible, something futuristic, something that you might be interested of. Um, as far as birth and giving birth is concerned, it is a beautiful process. Creating life is a beautiful thing. And it's something that you have to cherish. And on top of that, we also believe that our women deserve to look and feel the best they can. So to talk about mommy makeovers, we have with us Dr. Yasas Abebe Kriman. Welcome, Hi. doctor. How are you doing today? Thank you. Yes, so this mommy makeover, it sounds really interesting. Can you just explain exactly what this is about? Yeah. Uh, as you said, preg pregnancy and childbirth takes quite a big toll. It's, it's a responsibility and strain as well as pressure. So sometimes we lose our way on the going and sometimes uh, self-care can be a little neglected. After uh, the family is complete, you may want to get back into those nice garments which you wore earlier and uh, be your true self. And mommy makeover is a way that we can help you to get in to the rich self with self-esteem. It's, it's a combination of procedure with body containing surgeries combined with other aesthetic procedures to give a jump start. It's a few procedures done at the same time so that you can be really really happy about yourself after getting uh, this uh, new change in you. Definitely, it's, it's entirely not about changing yourself, it's about enhancing uh, who you are, right? It is, and it's actually this, this is not about making you more beautiful, you're already beautiful. Any person is beautiful to start with. Here, it's more about giving confidence, confidence about yourself, confidence about relationships and be happy about your body image so it's not making you beautiful but making you happy about yourself definitely and if we dive into the components of what mommy makeover makes up what are they yeah uh, one of the essential components will be a body contouring procedure so uh, most of the time there's excess weight in the places and excess volume where we don't really like them to be. So the main component will be uh, abdomen plus that's what we call tummy tuck or liposuction. And with that we can combine uh, breast procedure, it may be a breast lift, breast reduction or a breast augmentation with fat injection or breast implants. And in addition, uh, we can organize other things like a thigh reduction and even help you with gentle aesthetics which is not much discussed in our country, in our cultural setup but I think it is very important that we start discussing about those things. Definitely. And if we talk about a normal tummy tuck and the breast aesthetic surgery, how are these different? Yes. Uh, when we talk about tummy tucks or breast aesthetics, they are usually done individually. Like you go for a tummy tuck, you go for breast procedure like augmentation or reduction. So these are separate procedures. So it takes a longer time and several surgeries to get you through to get what you want. So mommy makeover is combining two or more procedures to give you rapid change or as I said a jump start. So it's a single surgery, so one single admission and uh, you get more ad advantage, like more benefits uh, within a shorter duration. And also if you take the big picture doctor, does this often happen in Sri Lanka? How is, how is the occurrence happening? It does. It has been happening, I think that, but the frequency is not that much because the awareness and uh, opinion of the clients uh, is that having several surgeries may be uh, have its own issues because there is slight long anesthesia uh, but on the other hand like uh, what we offer is a combined surgery is probably with a bigger team 
and very good anesthetic support. Also, doctor, is is this um, usually when it comes to cosmetic surgeries? A lot of people have this, you know, doubt and apprehension. Is it actually dangerous? I mean, but talking about dangers, um, surgical safety has come a long way from the previous era. So, uh, surgery, the techniques, how we look at it, has evolved, and anesthesia has evolved by miles. And so, there are a lot of safety precautions that we take selecting the patient, preparing the patient as well as during procedure and after procedure. Uh, so all these are applied. An aesthetic surgery will have the same risk as anybody going for a general anesthesia in, for any other surgery. This is not extra dangerous but then like we make people aware of the, the risk of anesthesia but said that we take all precautions to make sure that the patient is very safe in best of hands. Okay. And also, doctor, uh, when we talk about makeovers, it's it's not just an overnight thing. If we talk about the recovery process, the follow-ups, how, how does it work? How long does it take to recover? Yes, that's a very good question because uh, how is the recovery for two surgeries as opposed to one surgery? The recovery time may be slightly prolonged, uh, from 10 days to two weeks sometimes uh, somebody might need help and support for about three to four weeks after surgery especially when you combine another procedure with the abdominal plastic especially if you need uh, the abdomen wall repairs uh, for uh, defects which can occur due to the strain of uh, pregnancy uh, and uh, so if you're going for it it's very important that you know what you're going for and read about it get educated and that's one of the main components of our consultation to making the patient aware of what we offer. And uh, we, in the initial consults, we make the patient educated and then we promote them to read about it and then ask us the questions. Definitely. And um, if we talk about um, preparing prior to procedure, what are the tips you can give uh, to those who want to get this done? That's the best question you asked. Because uh, especially body contouring surgeries are not just magic. I always make sure that my patients prepare themselves and try to come into a new lifestyle. If you don't change the lifestyle, like which made you made the change that you have gained, like whether it gain or losing contours, we have to change the lifestyle. So the eating habits, the our general behavior exercises. So those things have to be corrected before we go in for the surgery. Otherwise, the outcomes, longer term outcomes may not be that super. So we always have a lifestyle change and education for the patient before we take on the surgery. It's not you just come in and get the surgery next week. And also even after the procedure, um, maintaining it, and there's a lot of other things that you have to do. So if we talk about the post-procedure follow-up, uh, how does that happen? Yeah, post-procedure follow-up starts before the procedures because the education and patient knows uh, what to expect. And there will be the initial discomfort of one to two weeks. And uh, we educate them about how to support yourself, get help, and, uh, and slowly, get back to the normal routine especially if you're a working mom and uh, handling with children so you might get some need some help around with the children uh, and for the after the surgeries we always make sure that the patient uses supportive pressure garments and scar management which is the integral component of all these surgeries and maintaining yourself with your diet exercises that will make you happier you and not only the beauty and the uh, aesthetic shape, but also makes you safer against non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, ischemic heart disease, strokes. Because keeping fit and uh, in a good uh, weight uh, height balance is important to make you healthier as you gracefully age. Thank you so much, Doctor, for uh, kind of filling us on that valuable information. 
so um, that's exactly how mommy makeovers happen.